In episode three, Luke said, "Electromagnetism is one of the most important discoveries of mankind." Would you show us the evidence? Many years ago, if you wanted to travel long distances, you used a donkey or a horse. These days, we have a family car. How much electromagnetism do you think is in a real car? First, we have to unlock the door. Electromagnetism. What about electric windows? Electromagnetism. Number three, the car radio. That is electromagnetism. And the CD player or the tape player, electromagnetism. And number five, the air conditioner. Then number six, we have the meters on the dashboard and the headlights. When you switch them on, they are controlled by a relay, electromagnetism. And the windscreen wipers, electromagnetism. Now we switch on the motor. A relay engages the starter motor, electromagnetism. The starter motor turns over the engine, electromagnetism. The petrol pump injects petrol into the engine, electromagnetism. Number twelve, the ignition spark for for the spark plugs. Electromagnetism. Number thirteen. The generator recharges the battery. And don't forget the horn. That's number fourteen. Electromagnetism. <coughs> number fifteen. The fan keeps the engine cool. Electromagnetism. Oh, I almost forgot number sixteen. That's the wiper washer pump. That's a pump, and that is electromagnetism. We just found 16 functions of electromagnetism inside a car, inside the home, washing machine, vacuum cleaner, radio, stereo. Oh, there are so many. It's way too fast for me to read that. Is the light bulb electromagnetism? No, a light isn't electromagnetism. It's just a simple resistor which heats up and gives off light. What is an electromagnet that turns? In one of the previous episodes, we talked about turning electromagnets. And that is called an armature in a motor. Here is an armature. How do you connect it to electric power? On each end of this armature, there are, there is one blank wire. As the armature turns around, it switches the electromagnetism on and off. If I put this armature in between these two strong magnets, along the inside its electric holder, it'll these two blank bits of wire、uh, on on either ends will switch it on and switch it off. We have put across an old-fashioned set of headphones. You can even hear how it switches on and off when I put it to the microphone. Listen carefully. What happens if you reverse the polarity? Then. It will turn the other way. Now it is turning that way instead of that way.
What happens if there is no switch on the armature? This armature has no switch. Let's see what happens when we put it in. When I turn on the current, it will just stay in one spot only because it does not have a switch. No matter what I do here, it will just keep on going back to the same old position it was in before. What happens if we turn the armature? We are getting electromagnetism in reverse. Turning it like so generates electricity. At the moment I am generating electricity. How do we generate electricity? Here is a coil connected up to the meter. If I pass the magnet over the coil, the meter will show up. You can see it on this little spot here. We are generating electricity. It is much more efficient when we put it in something like this inside a strong magnetic field. This is the principle of a generator. In the real world, we use this type of armature. It is machine factory made. On this armature, there are many segments of, of electromagnets and, and many switches. Of course, we can also generate electricity with our bodies. Look here, a copper plate and a zinc plate. You see when I press my hands down on the plates, that's all the power that's in me. Have you got an example of a real generator? Here is a proper generator. It is an old fashioned telephone generator. It is even strong enough to light up the light bulb. Here is another real high efficiency generator. When I turn it around and then I turn this knob here, this will turn the motor. On the meter, electricity is going right and left. Because we are generating AC, alternating current. What we mean by alternating current, you're going to have to wait till the next episode.